Alec Baldwin says he is fully cooperating with police after one crew member was killed on a movie set in New Mexico. The unfathomable tragedy that occurred on the New Mexico set of Alec Baldwin's upcoming movie Rust has left people wondering how these kinds of mistakes still happen today. It is confirmed that Alec discharged a prop gun on set, accidentally shooting the cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injuring the movie's director Joel Sosa. We have a statement from Alec that was just released on Twitter, but here's what you need to know about the situation so far. Let us tell you about the incident, background, crew support, and finally Alex breaking the silence by posting a public remark. So, make sure to watch till the end where we take you through everything. Without further ado, let's get right to it. While it's unclear how the incident occurred or the circumstances surrounding the discharging of the gun, the Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputies were dispatched to the Bonanza Creek Ranch, the set of the movie Rust, when a 911 caller reported the shooting. The call statement was released as, We need some help. A director and a camerawoman have been shot. I was sitting, we were rehearsing, and it went off, and I ran out. We all ran out. Grant has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. Okay. Bonanza Creek Ranch, come on. The sheriff's office confirms two individuals were shot on the set of Rust. Helena Hutchins, 42, director of photography, and Joel Souza, 48, the movie's director. They both got shot when a prop firearm was discharged by Alec Baldwin, 68, renowned actor and producer. Sadly, Helena succumbed to her injuries after being airlifted to hospital. Director Joel Souza was transported by ambulance to a local medical center. The sheriffs came down and said on another set there was live, a live gun discharge. Rust actress Frances Fisher confirmed on Twitter that the director is out of hospital. Since then, Frances has been sharing her prayers for Helena and her family. The investigation is still ongoing and no information regarding the incident is out yet, as it's highly confidential. The authorities are carefully investigating the property where the movie was being filmed this weekend. Even though there are no deputies at the time of the shooting, the sheriff's office was aware that prop guns were being used on the set of the movie. The New Mexico Occupational Health and Safety Bureau announced that they are also investigating the shooting. The cast and the crew have been understandably left devastated by the tragedy and the movie's production company LLC share in a statement. The entire cast and crew have been absolutely devastated by today's tragedy, and we send our deepest condolences to Helena's family and loved ones. We have halted production of the film for an undetermined period of time, and we are fully cooperating with the Santa Fe Police Department's investigation. We will be providing counseling services to everyone connected to the film as we work to process this awful event. A local 44 which covers prop masters and behind the scenes crew members sent an email to its members early Friday morning that confirmed the gun used in the incident contained a live round. The production's prop master was not a local member of the 44. Matthew, husband of Helena, reacted to the incident by saying, I don't think there are words to communicate the situation. I am not going to be able to comment on the facts or the process of what we are going through right now, but I appreciate that everyone has been very sympathetic. He added, I think that we need a little bit of time before we can really encapsulate her life in a way that is easy to communicate. Tributes are pouring in from Hollywood remembering Helena Hutchins. Director James Gunn took to Twitter writing, My greatest fear is that someone will be fatally hurt on one of my sets. I pray this will never happen. My heart goes out to all those affected by this tragedy today on Rust, especially Helena Hutchins and her family. Actor Elia Woods added, Absolutely horrifying and devastating news about the cinematographer Helena Hutchins. My heart goes out to her family. Joe Manganiello also shared a heartfelt tribute and remembered his former colleague writing in part, I'm in shock. I was so lucky to have Helena Hutchins as my DP on Arc Enemy. An incredible talent and a great person. I can't believe this could happen in this day and age. Gunfire from a prop gun could kill a crew member? What a terrible tragedy. My heart goes out to her family. Actor Deborah Messing defended Alec Baldwin while calling out an inaccurate headline on Twitter tweeting, It is absolutely not. A prop gun was handed to him. He used it in the scene. Then a catastrophic event happened where Helena lost her life and Joel was injured. I am praying for their families. It can be further seen that Deborah was explaining that the props were always used with confirmations from the prop masters and the prop crew. It's been 30 years since a similar incident killed actor Brandon Lee, son of Bruce Lee. Brandon was shot and killed on the set of The Crow in 1993. Actor Brandon Lee, 28, died at 1.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. Brandon began training on Twitter last night after many online noted the similarities in the circumstances. 
In a post on Brandon's official page, his relatives expressed their condolences and insisted these tragedies should never happen. His relatives posted, Our hearts go out to the family of Helena Hutchins and to Joel Souza and all involved in the incident on Russ. No one should ever be killed by a gun on a film set. Period. Another cinematic director of photography, Rachel Morrison, shared, Also, just want to vent for a second that there is no fathomable reason to use blanks anymore. When it costs like 50 cents to add gunfire in post, and even less reason to use them during a day scene where there is little to no interactive light. I'm so mad at this needless and completely preventable loss. Also, if you don't have enough funding to make a film safely, you shouldn't be making it. No shot, no scene, and no movie is worth the loss of a life. If the gun had live ammunition, it would be a major violation of set safety guidelines, according to Larry Sanoff, a prop weapons manager at Independent Studio Services. The television and motion picture industry uses blanks. There is no place for live ammunition on a television or movie set. Finally, Alec Baldwin released a statement on Twitter writing, There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding this tragic incident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred and I am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Helena. This is absolutely devastating news. Rachel Morrison made a very good point when she was saying it costs 50 cents to add gunfire in posts, which is the post-production she's talking about, the special effects to add that sort of muzzle flash that you often see in movies. A colleague on the set of Russ was so alarmed by prop gun misfires that happened earlier in the week, he sent a text message to the unit production manager. We've now had three accidental discharges. This is super unsafe. Francesca Fiorentini shared a tweet explaining that even the crew knew about the unsafe conditions and were protesting before the incident. The tweet states, Half a dozen crew members walked off the set in protest of the conditions hours before Baldwin killed a cinematographer with a gun that the production manager was told was unsafe. Another clear example of workers' right being the key to safety for all. Some scriptwriters want to peak realism in their movies, so they would disagree with the special effects. But the incident is in front of you. At least those effects are guaranteed to keep everyone safe in a scene like this. Everyone is just as angry at the prop masters and demanding justice for Helena. The prop master not being a member of the local 44, not taking enough precautions, half the crew protesting, shooting which leads to the death of an innocent life? This is really serious. This isn't the first time an incident like this has happened on a movie set. People really haven't learned about basic security measures they have to follow. With that, this video comes to an end here, folks. We all send our deepest condolences to the affected ones. Do you think this tragic incident could have been avoided? Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. If you want more updates on the incident, do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we come back with any more intriguing content. Until then, stay tuned. Bye!